All right, so I figured since I have this cool new camera and the communicator and it's easy for me to just run out and do a video, I should run out and do a video. So today is Friday. Tomorrow we are heading off to Phoenix, Arizona to visit my dad for a week. He's actually going to be coming back to Minnesota in about a month, but gives us an excuse to go down and sit in 90 degree weather for a week instead of, you know, it's 33 here today. Um, I might even be less than that right now. But roads are dry and all the standing water is, well, standing water. There's no ice in it that I've seen. Um, I'll probably find some though and then I'll be all broken up. That'll suck, but we'll try not to do that. Anyway, so I have, uh, we got these, these uh, showy Quest helmets, which are relatively quiet. I'm happy with that. And we bought these um, Cena 20S communicators. I kept calling them S20, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, 20S, 20S. I need to program that. Um, and they worked super well, so we uh, picked up these Cena Prism cameras, which uh, work on the Bluetooth stuff as well. Which means when I'm ready to go out and record something, it's just a matter of snapping it onto my helmet and I'm ready. Which makes it easy enough that even I will do it. Um, with the other camera, I had, you know, it wasn't too bad, but you had to put it up on top of the helmet and then try to route the, the microphone around and slip it into the helmet and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't wear it all the time, so I didn't leave the, I didn't leave the microphone in the helmet. I took it out every time and that made it, you know, it was not a bad deal, but it's still a five minute project every time and I don't know. It was just my excuse for not doing it, I guess. And not having any reason to, I guess, is the other thing. <laughs> so anyway, we've uh, we've been riding motorcycles for about 11 years now. And a couple years ago, I was going to start this uh, YouTube channel for called Fulbusa and I didn't. I mean, I kind of did one crappy little video and another crappy little video and then I quit. <laughs> um, so since then I've been doing other videos and stuff and I've actually been doing a lot of video stuff for work. Um, so it's gotten me kind of into the, into the fold, I guess, of doing the editing and stuff like that. Um, and I recently started playing with this multi-camera thing, which was got me all excited to do the to do the other video with the um, carrying removal for the Gen 2 Busa. And anyway, I figure I have really important stuff to say, and people should listen. Damn it! Um, so at the end of May, we're actually going to be heading down to the 2016 Georgia. Um, vlog meetup deal and that sounds like it'll be a good time supposedly like 600 people say they're going so even if a third of them show up that's gonna be a couple hundred folks that's huge um, and so we actually got into the motel that everybody's staying at the Holiday Inn so that'd be cool to meet this uh, ramekin dude and Chase and a number of others so those are the ones I happen to remember the names of <laughs> I, uh, I know there were a bunch of them that I have watched their videos and stuff, but anyway. Um, so that's going to be cool. Wife and I are going to be riding down there. She uh, she rides a Busa also. Uh, it's MPLS woman. And that's supposed to be Minneapolis. That's the abbreviation for the city. But anyway. Um, uh, we pulled these trailers. You can see that on... Uh, it's, the username is the Joe Trailer, so whatever. Um, I'll put a link in here too. Um, so, huh? I don't know. That's uh, that's the big stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna think of some topics and make some videos, riding around. I don't know, I just, uh, figure give me a, a reason to go out and ride, you know, besides riding. And, 
maybe some people will like it, maybe they won't, we'll see. And hopefully I can meet some cool folks on here and that'll be a good time too. And yeah, I don't know, I take this ride a lot, go out uh, River Road, out to Anoka and back across 610 home, kind of gives you a a somewhat slow ride with a few little turns and whatnot, and then uh, and then hit the inter inter well, it's not the interstate; it's just a state highway, but or freeway, whatever they call it. Anyway, um, yeah, no big, no other big plans other than that one this this summer. We uh, we got into downhill skiing, so next winter we're going to be doing a a couple of. Uh, ski trips, one down to Park City, Utah, and one probably over to Beaver Creek. Um, we did the season pass with Vail Resorts, so you can go to pretty much any one of the Vail Resorts. We happen to have one here in Minnesota called Afton Alps. It's uh, not on the Colorado, Utah type caliber. It's uh, I think it's 300 acres and the like, top or the highest run is a couple hundred feet, but meh, it, you know, the thing is, a lot of the runs are equal in, in uh, difficulty, it's just that they're short. I mean, you basically, you're only skiing for 20 seconds, you know, <laughs> a little more than that maybe, but still, it's, it's, it's short. Um, and at least we got into that as well, so. So it gives us something to do. We were out probably 20 times between uh, December and March because we got our season pass deal with uh, Walsh Village, which is another place here in Minnesota, um, in December. And then we went skiing. Actually, we went skiing New Year's Eve. That was our first day. And then we went. Uh, yeah, like 20 sometimes after that. We actually went up to, um, oh my god, I can't remember the name of this place. <laughs> oh, Lutzen. I, so, I, I remember that name and I'm thinking, no, that's not it, because I always thought Lutzen was like some huge place out in Colorado or whatever. I never really placed it here in Minnesota, but anyway. Um, but it's a pretty nice place and has some relatively long runs. I mean, they're probably mm, maybe half as long as some of the some of the average runs out in Colorado. So, yeah, it's pretty decent. There's another one called Spirit Mountain. I've not been there, but it's it's about 100 miles close. Well, 100, yeah, probably something like that, closer to our house than than Lutzen. But it's got only a handful of runs, so. I don't know. Anyway, um, so usually most years we take a, we take a long motorcycle trip, um, like three weeks. Um, this year we're only doing that that one, and it's basically a week. We're gonna leave home on uh, on Wednesday and return home the following Friday, so a week and a half. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll have something interesting to talk about <laughs> next time. Yeah. Uh, so for now, this is Paul Booz signing off. I'll talk to you guys next time.